Hey, and welcome to our 10,000 km bike review. This is the second part or follow-up part to our 3,000 km bike review we did uh, when we were back in Greece. And if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out first. We'll put the link up here because in this uh, review, we're only going to talk about the things we actually changed since the last review. So we've been on the road for almost nine months now and done actually almost 11,000 kilometers on our bikes. And we're going to have a look at how exactly they held up since the last time. All right, like in the last review, let's start from the front and move to the back of the bikes. So the first thing that's new are um, the tires. These are the Schwalbe Marathon Plus Tour tires. Um, before I had the Schwalbe Mondiales and um, Marathon Mondiales. And as you know, we weren't too happy with them because they were, yeah, they got shredded by some thorns. Um, so these ones are much better now. They have much better puncture protection. Um, I think this has around six, six and a half thousand kilometers on it now, which you can kind of see already on the wear indicators. Um, but so far I've had only two flats on the back, um, which might have actually been caused by the same, um, the same occurrence. So um, to be honest, it's been, it's been great. It's been really, really good. Then um, the next thing you'll see that's new are the, um, the mud guards. We already mentioned this in um, the first review, but that we wanted to upgrade them. And now we got some new ones that we kind of tweaked and modified ourselves, um, which have a lot more clearance. Also with the big tires, um, Luisa has the same thing on her bikes, uh, on her bike. Um, yeah, so a lot more clearance and it's just a lot better. And we also removed the front part um, of this mudguard just to give it even more clearance under the fork. Um, yeah. Um, then we'll move on to the grips. Um, as you can see, especially here, these grips have a lot more wear on them now than they did after 3,000 kilometers, obviously. Um, but still, even after 10,000 kilometers of sweating and rain and so on, they're holding up pretty well. And because these are pretty much symmetrical, and we already did this on Louisa's bike because her grips are a bit older, if you just switch them, so turn them around, then the, the bottom side becomes the top side and you can pretty much use them again for yeah, the same duration again, which is really, really good. Um, otherwise, everything else on the handlebar is holding up great. Um, the only thing I'll talk about is um, the Cube Race Peak um, bike computer. So this is eating up quite a lot of batteries. It is reliable, like even in torrential rain and so on, it's held up pretty well and with very cold temperatures of yeah, up to minus 12, 13 Celsius. It's worked great. The only thing is it eats batteries like crazy to the point where it is a bit annoying. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Also, the, um, the altitude that it displays, which it measures with the pressure, ambient pressure, is not very accurate and can't really be used at all. The rain cover of um, my quadlock phone cover, um, we did throw away at some point actually because it's just, it wasn't waterproof. And um, there's no point having a waterproof phone cover if it's not waterproof. Um, otherwise, I'm really happy with the quad, quad lock, but yeah, this wasn't so great. Now the solution is pretty much to put the phone in this clear part of the Ortlieb um, Ultimate 6 handlebar bag, and then I can even charge it in a waterproof way while also reading the map. And the touchscreen works, works as well, so that's pretty good. All right, then moving on. We replaced, we used to have two of the, oh, I used to have two of these bottles, the other one here, and we replaced this in Greece actually for a big one and a half liter thermos, which has been absolutely great now in winter, not just to um, speed up the cooking process when we have, for example, like yeah, hot water in here or just for hot coffee, which is really nice in winter, and also for de-icing the bikes um, when we've had, yeah, I don't know, minus eight, minus nine degrees Celsius in the morning, sometimes after camping, and the brake was frozen or something, then we could really just de-ice it with the boiling water, which was great. And last but not least, I did change a few things on my drivetrain. The front and back derailleur are still the same, original. It also came with the bike when I got it second hand. And the only thing I've upgraded is the front crank. Actually, this is the second time. Um, because when we were in Greece, 
I upgraded my front crank because I needed to, um, including the bottom bracket. But then um, in Texas, now crossing, well, crossing the US, um, my bottom bracket failed after only around 5,000 kilometers. It's just a basic square taper Shimano bottom bracket. And um, so I had to get it replaced, but at this bike store in Roswell, where we were at the, at the time, or the nearest bike store, they only had a bottom bracket that didn't fit with my old crank. So I got a new crank again now, but this one is actually much better than the one I had in between because it has a 22 tooth uh, smallest cog, meaning I have an even lower climbing gear than I did before, which is exactly what I wanted, actually. Um, then I have a, uh, new cassette. Well, this is actually the fourth cassette now already. Um, and um, no, third, third, my bad. And um, this has a, also a very low climbing gear of uh, 34 uh, teeth at, on the lowest ring. So this, yeah, means I have a very low climbing ratio, which is really good. Um, last thing to talk about my pedals. Um, the I think there were cube pedals I had, which I already used on a bike before we started our journey. They did actually fail in New Mexico as well, because um, the bearings, the pretty basic bearings, like not sealed bearings or anything, they just disintegrated um, on one of them. And then, yeah, I changed them out to, these are just <laughs> Walmart pedals now, um, which are working fine for now, but I am looking at getting better pedals when we get to a decent bike shop um, which have proper sealed bearings which would be much better to protect against the elements. All right that's already it and now it's Louise's turn. So I'm gonna start at the back because uh, that's where the biggest change on my bike actually happened. Um, in Turkey I sold my guitar rack and the guitar to Marlene and Lucas with whom we were traveling for three weeks um, because I wasn't really playing the guitar <laughs> and then yeah, it was just not car worth carrying the weight So yeah, I really like it without <laughs> this extra piece of luggage back here um, Then also as Toby mentioned I got new mud guards, which is pretty basic ones from Decathlon um, at the back and at the front then I got new tires it was a bit of a hassle but in the end I got also the Marathon Plus um, not the Plus Tour but um, yeah I was able to get the Marathon Plus um, yeah the bags I was having some or I am having some issues with my 4D bags but um, we actually made a video about this which you can find up here other corner up here yeah. <laughs> Um, I actually already replaced one of my 4D bags um, with a Audley bag um, in Turkey also. Yeah, which I also mentioned in the other video. So this is the Audley Ultimate 6, um, 6.5 liters. Um, then I got a new phone holder, which is great because before I couldn't have my phone out at all. Um, yeah, it's also when it's raining, I also just put it in the um, yeah, in this um, spot of the handlebar bag, which is really great and it's working well. Um, yeah, and otherwise, yeah, we replaced some of the um, brake pads. And I also replaced my cassette actually just recently in San Diego. Um, sorry, I'm going a bit back and forth, but who cares? Um, yeah, so I got a new cassette at the back. Um, and I also have a lower climbing gear now with 36 uh, teeth, which is great. Then, also these, I got new pedals in Greece, pretty basic ones for just 15 euros. And so far they're holding up well, let's see how long that goes. This is already the end of this video, thank you for watching. And in case you are wondering where we are right now, in the middle of the mountains of Baja California, Mexico.